So I've just reviewed the video on getting the case put together. And I've taken everything back apart here. I have the PC board supported here underneath. The uh, nine mil spacers are in place lined up with the holes and the black bezel on the front. And what we want to build up is the sandwich that will then lower down through. And so we're going to need a number of things here. Uh, one of them is the heavy piece of acrylic and we're going to lower these bolts down through and I'm just going to use tape to secure them in place. He demonstrated doing it with cardboard and I'm sure that it work as well. Well, it did work for him. I, I needed to mention tape would work. Uh, I can use the tape here just because I have it convenient. Hopefully I can find all eight bolts. One of them seems to have rolled off someplace. It just never ends. solder stuck to that. Number seven. And where is little bolt number eight? That little hunk of solder's back. There you are. And number eight. And this will of course go in this way. So the next thing we need to do is put the silk screen front panel down on top of this, of course facing out. It's just a matter of struggling the screw holes around. Then we have the red filter, which again will only go on one way. down through just to make sure all of the uh, washers or the spacers are lined up through the holes. It did get juggled around a little bit. I'm just going to center that one a little better. Center that one a little better. Let's see if we can now lower this down through. circuit board. Hopefully this whole assembly will flip over like this. I've got the ESP mounted. I really shouldn't have. It's been pulled out. Now we end up to here. Now the six mil spacers go on. Just tried to escape. Continue to be really pleased with the kit, uh, with everything he's designed here. It's just really awesome. And to live in a world as we do where you can actually purchase something like this. At a very reasonable cost, it's just amazing. Uh, as a teenager, if I could have afforded an MSI 8080 or a digital group or any kind of machine, uh, I would have bought one. As a teenager, I just didn't have the money. Uh, my parents didn't really have the money to buy it for me. See if I can get this protective layer to peel off. I did eventually convince my dad to co-sign for a small bank loan and I bought one of the very first TRC Model 1s, sold in my home state. So this guy sits over this way. As he said, the uh, 
Little nuts go in. There's a little flat washer on the back of the nuts. They go in with that little flat washer poking out. Let's see if I can get these all kind of snap down in. Or this thing here is actually picking them up out of the little container I have them sitting in. They're all flipped over with the little washer down. Look how nice that looks. It's just a beautiful build. It's an absolutely beautiful build. One more buried away here, and now really it should be pick this up. The bolts are taped in, and as long as I keep uh, tension on the wedge, the whole thing should pick up as a unit. Sounded like something fell out. Well, it's some of the little nuts falling out, I didn't get them in tight enough. some of this out of the way. I've got my finger on one here that didn't fall out. We'll expose the screw head and I feel it pulling in. I'm gonna hit this this one down here. Yeah, I'm, all we're getting on the second camera is a view with the back of my arm. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate over this way. So there's a nut down underneath this one. Felt the screw grab. Let me put the nut back in for this one. This one. Put the nut back in for this one. I can feel the nut back there for this one. Just work around a tad bit more than finger tight. all eight so we've got the thick acrylic on the front we've got the silk screen front panel next we've then got the red bezel material then the that black backing past plastic that we see down here the PC uh, the nine millimeter spacers the PCB the six millimeter spacers and the rear acrylic and that really is a uh, nice sturdy little assembly much dust behind things although I certainly did shoot there's I should have dusted off the inside of the surface and I didn't that doesn't make me particularly happy I wish I'd have thought of that I may have to tear it down and clean that dust out this 
Hmm. Well, for now, I can live with it. We should still be operational. executing garbage so really nice you haven't apparently damaged anything <laughs> 